This lecture is on physical and organic properties in organic chemistry. For organic molecules, the key physical and chemical properties present in these substances include the following. One, covalent bonding. Two, highly flammable. Three, mostly nonpolar, unless an electronegative element is present. Four, low boiling point. Five, low melting points. Six, mostly insoluble in water. First is solubility in water. These compounds typically are insoluble in water. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. These compounds typically are soluble in water, mostly up to five carbons. Alcohols, thiols, esters, amides, amines, carboxylic acids, aldehydes, ketones, and ethers. However, all compounds will dissolve in our organic solvents. Properties for organic compounds can be explained by their intermolecular forces. One, dispersion forces. Two, dipole-dipole forces. Three, hydrogen bonding. These functional groups have dispersion forces. Alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Molecules with dispersion forces can attract one another by the formation of temporary dipoles. A molecule that is nonpolar, once there has been an unequal distribution of electrons visible, only then molecules will attract with each other. Nonpolar molecules have this attractive force. This figure illustrates the effect of surface area in regards to intermolecular forces. This figure shows three isomers of substance whose molecular formula is C5H12. Neopentane has the weakest attractive forces because it has the smallest surface area being compared to isopentane and n-pentane, which are greater because they have larger surface areas. The trend is the larger the surface area, the stronger the attractive force. This graphical illustration shows boiling points for various alkenes and isoalkanes. The trend is the more carbons present in the parent chain, the higher the boiling point. Next, these functional groups have dipole dipole forces present, and they are thiols, aldehydes, ketones, esters, and ethers. This figure here illustrates a polar molecule like HCl, where there is a permanent dipole present on the molecule, where one end is highly more electronegative than the other end. The negative end of one molecule attracts the positive end of another molecule. This graphical illustration shows boiling points for various N-alkenes and aldehydes. Aldehydes have higher boiling points over alkanes because they have the stronger attractive force of dipole-dipole over alkanes with only dispersion forces. Lastly, functional groups that have hydrogen bonding include alcohols, amines, amides, and carboxylic acids. This illustration here shows water molecules attracting with other water molecules. Hydrogen bonding has to have NH, OH, or HF bonds present. This graphic illustration shows boiling points for various N-alkanes, aldehydes, and alcohols. Alcohols have the highest boiling point because they have hydrogen bonding in compared to aldehydes, which have dipole-dipole forces, and alkanes, which only have dispersion forces. This graphic illustration shows alkanes, alcohols, carboxylic acids, and amines. From this illustration from 1 to 10 carbon parachains, although carboxylic acids, alcohols, and amines have hydrogen bonding, where alkanes only have dispersion forces, it is carboxylic acids with the highest boiling points. The reason carboxylic acids have the highest boiling points is because of the presence of dimers and with a longer carbon chain it increases the strength of the van der Waals dispersion forces. If you want to select the one with the slower evaporation rate, higher boiling point, or higher melting point, follow these guidelines. One, if two sudden have different function groups, select the function group that has the stronger intermolecular force. Two, if two substances have the same molecular mass, select the one with the longer parent chain. Three, if two substances are within the same family or class of compounds, select the one with the larger molar mass. Let's look at some examples. 
example one is which one has the higher boiling point? Why? Explain with intermolecular forces. The subs are 3 methylpentane and hexane. Hexane has the higher boiling point since it has the stronger attractive forces. Both hexane and 3 methylpentane have dispersion forces since both of them have similar molar masses and the same molecular formula of C6H14. The surface area of hexane is larger than 3 methylpentane. The larger the surface area, the stronger the attractive force, and thus the higher the boiling point. Example 2 is which one has the lower boiling point? Why? Explain with intermolecular forces. The substances are 2 pentanol and 1 pentanol. 2 pentanol has the lower boiling point since it has the weaker attractive forces. 2 pentanol has dipole dipole forces, whereas 1 pentanol has hydrogen bonding. Since both substances have similar molar masses, the weaker the attractive force, the lower the boiling point. Example 3 is which one has the higher boiling point? Why? Explain with intermolecular forces. The substances are 1 pentane thiol and heptane. 1 pentane thiol has the higher boiling point since it has the stronger attractive forces. 1 pentane thiol has dipole dipole forces, whereas heptane has dispersion forces. Since both substances have similar molar masses, the stronger the attractive force, the higher the boiling point. Here is a review exercise for you to work on. Rank the following substance in order of increasing boiling point. Why? Explain with intermolecular forces. The substance are butanoic acid, heptane, and 3 pentanol. For the main part of this lecture, our solutions review exercise of problems. Please view only after completing these exercises.